Shout out to DEI. Yeah, actually, I have. Okay. Do you believe America is a racist country? No, I don't. Okay, I believe that you, that's true because you said in an op-ed on Fox News as a black conservative, I like Senator Scott agree in our two lives and the lives of many black men and women like us are living proof that America is indeed no longer a racist nation and by far the best place to reach your fullest potential. And so here's my question. You let me ask let me ask y'all a question. Do you, does anybody here think that another country would allow you to reach your fullest potential um, better than America? And if so, would you consider going there? Because I, I don't understand why, like, why do you try to make somebody like if people have in their minds, let's say that even if it is a racist country, why do you want like, it's like, why do you want me to embrace this crutch? Why do you want me to embrace like, like, yo, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. So it must not be there. I don't feel it. It's almost like, what do they say about a tree? This, this may be a bad analogy, but y'all going to get it. A tree. Does a tree in the, the forest make noise? If nobody, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm, I don't feel it. I don't hear it. I don't feel it. I don't feel this racism. And any amount of racism that is brought to me, I'm going to use it to my advantage. It's like, I, I don't know how, how long. Okay, so at what point, let me, let me ask, let me ask y'all this. At what, what would need to happen for us to consider this not a quote unquote racist country? Because I think that racism is probably the most natural thing that anybody can embrace. Race, everybody's racist. And it depends on your definition of, oh, well, you have to be in power to be right. Let's just be real. People are going to look out for the people that are closest to them. The majority of the people that are closest to them are probably going to look like them. That's not always going to be the case, but it's probably going to be the case in most areas, just like why most crime is committed against people that are the same. Most crime against black people is committed by black people. Most crime against white people is committed by white. It's, it's just because that's who's in your in your bubble, in your community. But at what, what would need to happen for us to not be talking about racism? I don't know. And I, I asked my friends, I asked my friends the other day, like, yo, like, do you experience racism? Like, let me, let me ask y'all a question. What is the last, like, when did you last experience racism? When somebody didn't want to hold the door for you at ShopRite? Like, is it like, I, like, probably just an asshole. I don't know if he did it because I'm black. I don't know. Are there certain people that do things just because we're black? Yes. They look at us in a particular way. Yes. How do I know? Because when I go to the Jamaican shop, when I go to the Jamaican store to get food, they treating me different than the white person. So I don't, I, like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't feel it. It's, it's not impacting me. Life is lovely. Life is lovely. If you look down on me, if you think I'm not smart because I'm because I'm black, then that's probably not going to work in your favor. I keep saying it's just like sports. If, if, if I'm going against somebody, let's say I play cornerback or if I'm guarding somebody in basketball, if I think they're sorry, then I'm probably not going to prepare for them the same way that I would prepare for somebody that I think is Michael Jordan or somebody that is Terrell Owens or, or I don't know, the new wide receivers, Justin Jefferson, or I don't know. If you sleep on me, then thank you. Thank you. Like, that's going to be bad for you. You underestimated me. If I'm competing against you and you underestimate me, that's a great thing for me. It's a terrible thing for you. But what, like, why are we so stuck on this? Why? You did, however, vote to support the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act Along so. with every member of the House except for three yeah, Republicans. So I appreciate your bipartisan bipartisanship yeah. there. And I, what I do know as well, because America is in fact a racist country, was founded on such principles. Black men were lynched by the carceral state last week. I'm sure you've heard of Marcellus Williams by now in Missouri, who was convicted by a nearly all-white jury. And Freddie Owens in South Carolina, who was executed despite his friend recanting testimony that Owens was not in fact there. Um, this is the same state, by the way, that allowed for a firing squad as an execution option. Black people um, are about Just seven and a half people. times more likely to be wrongfully convicted of murder in the United States than our white folks, and about 80 percent 
more likely to be innocent than others convicted of murder. Of Let's talk about it. Can we have an honest conversation? She just said that black people are more likely to be convicted um, of, of whatever she just mentioned. Let's let's just talk about it. Like, when are we going to have an honest conversation about this? When are we going to have an honest conversation about this? And what do I mean by an honest conversation? When you think about let, let's if you had to name, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a quick little quick. Let's let's have a little fun here. I need everybody involved in this group chat right now. I need everybody to type right now. Just type when you think of a black city or a black community. Let's do black cities. I don't black community. Let's get 10. I want everybody to write a black city. Whether I don't know, just write a, a black city that comes to mind in your mind. Just write a black city, write a black city in the group chat, write a black city. I'm not moving until y'all write a black city in the group chat. Well, if nobody writes it, then I'll just say something. <laughs> All right. The first one, Baltimore. Queens wrote Baltimore. All right. Let's come on. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Baltimore. What comes to mind? If I'm a black person in Baltimore, am I just walking around there, just hanging out, feeling comfortable? Philadelphia, PG County, Atlanta, the Bronx, or the Bronx, Spanish and black. I don't know. Name, give me some more. Um, Chicago. Are, are we real? Do, do y'all get where I'm going here? Now let's name... Now let's name some white cities or, or, or some white areas. Let's just be real. Black people, I'm, like, it's like you can't be honest. It's like we can't be honest. Black people are seen in a particular light based on how most black people see us. Just like how Jamaicans and, and people that come from Africa, whether it's Nigeria or, not, or Ghana or wherever, Y'all realize that how they look at us, because what do they see? What do they see as a representation of black people? If you're a white person and you don't grow up around black people, what is your representation of black people? When you turn on the TV, what do you see black people doing? When you hear about black communities, what do you hear that's going on in black communities? So therefore, we all we're all prejudiced, right? We all prejudge based on previous experiences. So our previous experience and our it determines our bias and does not allow us to be objective. Let's just be real. Okay, so so you be the fool. You be the fool that is objective and, and going through life when it comes to your safety. So you carry yourself the same way in Upper Montclair or Livingston, or I don't know where else. I'm just thinking of, of white communities near where I grew up in Jersey. You carry yourself the same way in Westchester, walk around, you know, hang out, do whatever you want. Walk around the streets at night the same way that you would in Baltimore, the same way that you would in Chicago when you're walking by Old Block or wherever else. You carry yourself the same way and, and, and you think that that's OK because you just want to be objective. I'm not going to act a different way and because I'm in a different neighborhood. All right, you be the fool. You be the fool. Just like anything else, if we want to change our reputation, we change how we, we change how we if we can change how we see each other by changing how we carry ourselves, then other people will be forced to change how they how they see us. It just is what it is. So I, I just don't want to I just don't want to hear it, bro. I just don't like I'm tired of all the victim stuff, bro. It's not it's not leading us to any success. It's not delivering any progress. Like, what is it doing? We're talking about the same stuff that we were talking about in the 60s. Like, what are we talking? Like, what is going on? Then we bring Barack Obama, the same person that y'all complaining about all these, all these, uh, how black people look. Why don't Barack Obama go fit? I'm going on a tangent. I'm going on a tangent. Let's keep going. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. According to a 2022 report by the National Registry of Exonerations. All right. We're going to move on. So we're going to move on to the next to the next one 21 what do we got 21 24 all right let's hear this ew, ew, it's Dak. just want to thank you for checking out our video and visiting the og network if you enjoyed the video please make sure that you give us a like and if you're looking to join a community of inspired individuals striving for purposeful abundance subscribe and if you're feeling real generous share the video with some friends and family 
All right, I'll see y'all soon. Ew.